Hello friends, this video on microorganisms friend and foe part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Thanks. So first we are going to discuss about the friendly microbes. Here we will see that how these microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, they help us in various ways. So here are our friendly microbes. So several microbes are also useful to human beings in many different ways. Now for many it might be surprising that okay these, I mean till now we only knew about germs, that microorganisms are germs. But basically germs and microorganisms are not synonyms. So germ, the word germ is uh, basically used for those microbes which cause diseases. But there are good microbes as well, which instead of causing diseases, they help us in many different ways. So how do microbes help us? What are some of the ways in which they help us? So they help us in a lot of household products. So they actually help in the preparation of these products like curd, cake, bread. Now I am sure that we consume all these in our day to day life. And in their preparation, microbes play the most important role. They also help in a lot of industrial products, like products which are prepared on a commercial scale in the industries, like beverages, antibiotics. So antibiotics, they are a boon to us. Now see, what a, I mean, what a contradiction. Antibiotics are used to get rid of diseases and the diseases are also caused by microorganisms. So on one hand we have a group of harmful organisms which cause diseases. On the other hand we have a group of helpful microorganisms which help in preparing antibiotics and these antibiotics will cure the diseases. So that means they serve both the purpose. They also help in preparation of a lot of enzymes and acids and these enzymes and acids are again very much helpful. In sewage treatment, sewage treatment is another important application. So right now you might not know what exactly is sewage treatment. So I'll just quickly tell you what it is. What is sewage? Sewage is the unwanted water which contains, yeah, which has a lot of uh, pollutants and which can cause air pollution and water pollution. And it comes out of your house every day. So this sewage, if you directly dispose them off into a river or a pond, what happens? The water in that river or pond gets completely polluted and the water becomes unsuitable for drinking purpose. So what needs to be done is this sewage should be properly treated because it is dis before it is disposed of to any other water body. So how do we treat a sewage? A sewage is treated primary treatment and then followed by secondary treatment in which all the harmful substances which are present in sewage get converted into less harmful substances and then it, they are disposed of to the water bodies. So in that case the water bodies are not polluted to that extent. So this is basically sewage treatment and in the process of converting more toxic substances into less toxic substances microbes play a major role. Now we are not going to discuss about sewage treatment in detail right now but if you want to understand it for your understanding, you can refer the video lessons of class 12th biology or class 11th biology where I have explained sewage treatment in detail. Biogas production. So biogas is another uh, environmental fr environment friendly gas oops, or a fuel and in the production of this type of fuel also microorganisms play a major role. Control of pests and diseases. Like the pests and diseases which uh, happen in, in case of plants or in case of animals also, controlling them also microbes play a major role. They are also used as biofertilizers as well as decomposers. So what are biofertilizers and what are decomposers? So biofertilizers are living organisms or microorganisms which act as fertilizer. What do fertilizers do? In our previous lesson, we saw that fertilizers improve the soil quality. They enrich the soil with more useful nutrients. So some microorganisms can help to enrich the soil with useful nutrients and that is why those organisms are called biofertilizers. So that is one way it can help us. They can also act as decomposers that is they break down dead and decaying matter into useful inorganic substances. So that means it helps the environment to get rid of the unwanted dead and decaying matter. So these are some of the ways in which microbes can be helpful to us. 
So here in this lesson, we are going to focus on some of them. For example, we will talk about the household products. We will talk about the industrial products. We will talk about the biofertilizers. We will talk about the decomposers. So we will talk about quite a few things. So thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.